my name is Thales. I'm a pharmacist from Brazil. I graduated from the Federal University of Minas Gerais, UFMG. And right after graduating, I worked in the same institution as a laboratory technician, uh, involved in elemental analysis, uh, taking care of the laboratory routine, and demonstrating some experiments to visitors as well. During my final years of my bachelor's, I started looking for master's programs and I wanted to do it abroad. So I started just like Googling uh, for programs or opportunities to go abroad. And eventually I found Erasmus Mundus, joint master's degrees. Uh, and inside this whole scheme, we have different programs, over a hundred, I might say. And I decided to apply to three of them and I got approved to Nanomed. So regarding uh, the Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's Degrees, uh, overall you're gonna have to go to at least two countries and therefore two different universities and that's a great opportunity for you to broaden your network and have new experiences learning new languages, get in touch with different cultures and it's important to stress that uh, these Erasmus Mundus Joint Master's Degrees, they are offered in a wide variety of subjects, from performing arts to sciences, humanities, and even hardcore engineering. So you have a, a whole diversity to choose from, and you can apply for more than one, which is interesting. So let me give you an example of the program that I am enrolled in now. So Nanomedicine for Drug Delivery, is one of these Erasmus Mundus programs and four universities are involved in the consortium of this program. The University of Paris in Paris, the University of Pavia in Italy, the University of Angers in France as well and the University of Patra, the city of Patras in Greece. So these four universities uh, are part of the consortium and at the end you're going to have a joint degree from these universities that you're going to be enrolled during the program. So regarding the structure of the mobility in Nanomed, uh, you can either start in Patras or in Paris, depending on your background. Uh, the major backgrounds of the students in the intakes are pharmacy, uh, biotechnology and chemistry. So depending on your background, you're going to be assigned to one of the two cities. This is for the first semester, where after studying basic chemistry or basic biology, everyone starts studying together uh, formulation science. And then in the second semester, everyone moves to Paris together. And here we study uh, basic nanomedicine and biomolecules uh, for half of the semester. And the second half of the semester, uh, you will go to an internship, which can be in any of the laboratories from the consortium. Uh, so depending on what you want to focus during your master's, you can choose to specialize in a more clinical aspect of nanomedicine and therefore you'll be going to Angers for a third semester. And instead, if you want to focus on a more industrial side, industrial aspect, let's say, uh, you will go to Pavia for a third semester. And for the fourth semester, you are going to do your thesis. So during this final traineeship, you can go, uh, you can choose the place you want to go based on your endeavors and based on the opportunities available. And it's interesting because you can either go to industry or academia so you can go to a company or to a lab depending on what you want to focus on there are several advantages uh, in doing a joint master's degree in comparison to a traditional master's let's say uh, the first one is that you're gonna get to know different places different cultures and therefore different languages so I know how to say I am from Brazil in Greek Ego em apothin Brasilia, and I know how to say good morning, Calimera. So, and in French, je suis de Brasil. And that's just some extra knowledge you gain by joining these kind of programs. Most importantly, I would say you have the chance to broaden your network significantly because you're going to get the chance to know people from different countries, from different backgrounds, and that's important for whatever endeavors you have after you graduate from your master's. You 
might have stumbled upon any kind of cosmetic or even food supplements that you're gonna see like the word nano in the label and that's uh, starting to pop up more uh, regarding medicine so we're expecting that in the near future we're gonna see each time more nano medicines getting to the market uh, especially with the approval of the COVID vaccines recently for instance which some of them are based on lipid nanoparticles which are uh, therefore nanomedicines so we can expect in the future that more and more you're going to see nanomedicines moving from research into the market and therefore helping people's lives so now you must be thinking on how to apply to nanomed and what I'm going to say to Nanomed uh, might be very similar to other programs inside Erasmus Mundus, but then you have to check on the website uh, what's required. For Nanomed, you're going to have to upload your CV, so make your CV uh, well aimed to the program. You also have to upload uh, two reference letters, so choose well from your professors or previous advisors, employers, uh, who to ask for a reference letter and also you have institutional reference form to be filled by someone from your previous uh, institution where you studied. So I had to ask for a professor back in UFTMG, the university where I got my bachelor's from, to uh, fill this form. And perhaps the most important part of the application is your uh, personal statement or motivation letter, as we call in Nanomed, it might change the name depending on the program, but basically, uh, uh, file where you're going to write why you want to join the program so it's the chance for you to show that you're passionate about the topic and um, why it's important for your endeavors uh, to join this program how it's going to help you to fulfill your goals and why, what you want to do right after so you have to put a lot of effort it's perhaps one of the most important documents in your whole application is your personal statement or motivation letter. How to write your personal statement? First of all, don't rewrite your CV. Uh, your personal statement is the most valuable piece of application because you have to convince them to invite you to the interview with this personal statement. So put a lot of effort in it, make it really passionately in a way that the person, the professor or the member of the selection committee who will be uh, evaluating your application will say, okay, wow, I want to talk to this person because he or she showed to be really passionate about this uh, topic or the subject of the masters. So they, they are worthy to be interviewed. So keep that in mind and always uh, proofread it, uh, check for spelling, like all the basics, grammar, but uh, take your time doing this. Write it over and over, let it sit for a while and then come back to it. It's really important to make the most out of this personal statement. At Council Cana, I will be helping you to pursue your scholarships, applying to different programs and giving you advice throughout the process helping you with the documents, proofreading your documents, but mostly your personal statement. Also tutoring you on the translations, on the documents you have to prepare, on the steps of the application, rehearsing the interview, which is important as well. So overall, I'll be helping you with every step of the application so you can achieve your goals as I did as well. Yes, I know what you're thinking. The whole process can be a little bit overwhelming. I've been there myself. I know the feeling. So I just want you to know that there'll be always one message away from you. Whatever you need uh, during or your career counseling and even besides that, you can always message me. I'll be there through Council Canada to help you. So you can count on me.